The Duchess of Sussex reportedly started her maternity leave last week, the month before she is due to give birth towards the end of April. And Meghan, 37, is said to already be planning her return from maternity leave just six months after welcoming her first child with Prince Harry, 34, who is said to be offering his full support. The hardworking mother-to-be, who is passionate about charity work and was confirmed as the patron of four organizations earlier this year, is said to be attending the annual summit for One Young World in London in October. The organization worked with Meghan before she married into the royal family in 2014, and announced last week that the Queen's Commonwealth, of which Meghan is a patron, would be partnering with them for the event later this year. Speaking to Vanity Fair, the source said, Harry is keen to support Meghan in developing her own role and the opportunity to partner with a cause so close to her heart is an ideal stepping stone. All being well with the baby, the timing is perfect for her to expand her Commonwealth work through this new one Young World partnership with the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. FEMAIL has contacted Kensington Palace for comment. Last week the charity confirmed, One Young World, the global forum for young leaders is delighted to be partnering with the Queen's Commonwealth Trust to bring young leaders from across the Commonwealth to London for our 10th summit. Bringing the young leaders of the Commonwealth together at One Young World will give them the opportunity to accelerate change in their communities. The report comes just a week after the Duchess of Sussex is said to have started her maternity leave, the month before she is expected to give birth. Buckingham Palace did not confirm her maternity plans did say that Meghan did not currently have any more official engagements scheduled, but will attend several private meetings. Meghan and Harry are due to welcome their first child in April, though they have not confirmed the gender of the baby. Last week Bet Fair slashed the odds on a couple welcoming a girl, confirming that the odds are now at one half after being the popular choice with hunters. Following a significant bet this afternoon we've slashed the odds of the royal baby being a girl from 10 over 11 to 1 half, with a boy now out to 6 fourths, said bet fair spokesperson Katie Bayless. She added, this bet is one of the biggest we've seen on the royal baby markets this year so could be a big clue that we will have a new princess in the coming weeks. Further bets confirmed that Diana, in honor of Harry's late mother, still remains the 5 over 1 favorite for the name. Diana is the big 5 over 1 favorite for the name of the baby, with Grace, Victoria and Alice all at 14 over 1, said Katie. Arthur is the favorite boys named at 8 over 1 the head of James and Edward at 14 over 1. Another bookmaker slashed odds that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's baby will be born on the Queen's birthday. Coral has it at 10 to 1, down from 25 to 1, that Harry and Meghan's child will put in an appearance on April 21st which is also Easter Sunday this year. The Queen turns 93 in a month's time and will be the baby's great-grandmother.